Wondering how to keep your van more secure? Well, today we're diving into that question. As a handyman, my tools are my livelihood and I've worked in some sketchy areas, so I'm pretty attuned at making sure that my work van is secure. The last thing you want is to lose a tool or worse, have it stolen. It's a terrible feeling and worse yet, you have to eat the cost of that tool. Today, I wanna to share with you nine tips for protecting your most important assets. So let's jump in. So the first tip on our list is simple, but it's probably the most effective. And that is to put vinyl on your windows. And specifically, I'm talking about the Ford E-Series vans, the Econolines. I have a Ford E250 and it's got two rear windows and two windows on the side doors. This prevents any potential thefts from peering into the windows and seeing what you got in the van. Now you can easily get vinyl online. I'll put a link in the description. You can get it on Amazon. Um, it goes on really well. It's weatherproof. Mine's lasted three years at this point, so I haven't had to replace it. And the white matches perfectly with my van. And like I said, it's the most obvious initial way to up-level your security and prevent potential thefts from peering in and seeing the contents of your van and judging whether or not what you have is worth stealing in the first place. Now, my next tip is another obvious one, but it's one worth mentioning, and that is to lock your doors. Now, for newer vans, the transit vans, you might have key fob or an electric lock, so that makes things a little easier. But for older vans, like the one I've got, you have to manually go around and unlock doors. And you know, I have four doors, so I gotta go around each time to lock. But you'd be surprised at how many people actually leave their doors unlocked. Like if you're at Home Depot, I'll be walking by from the parking lot after I parked and just see the little lock sticking up. No, and I know that it's, it's unlocked. Especially if you're in a rush and you just park, you gotta run to Home Depot, run back to the job you don't have time or you're not thinking about locking it. In the Home Depot parking lot or any parking lot really, somebody could have the inclination to be like, oh, I wonder what's in that van. And then they go open the door and they take something from you. And that's the last thing that you want. Now this habit takes a little bit of time to build up, especially if you have an older van like I, like I do. So build the habit now and just walk your doors. All right, tip number three is to always keep your keys on you. Again, this might sound obvious, but just like you would get home and you put your wallet, your phone, your keys down in one spot, you wanna have your keys in one spot throughout the day when you're out and about. So my suggestion would be to get a carabiner and loop your keys through that, and then to hook the carabiner onto your belt loop, and that way you always know where they are. You can hear them because they're jingling around as you're walking, and it's just an easy way to access them. You don't have to reach in your pockets, wonder where you put them, they're just right on your belt loop. I've built this habit again, and it's made a world of difference. And again, for older vans where you don't have a fob, definitely want to make sure that you don't walk yourself out. That would be a bad day. All right, tip number four is to keep an inventory of everything that you have, all the contents in your van, your material and supplies, and your tools. Now, this is a little bit more time intensive, and it involves some more work up front but it's definitely worth it. Um, and it is kind of an ongoing thing to keep track of, but just for your own peace of mind, your frustration level throughout the day, knowing where things are and knowing what you have uh, is really an important part of the business. So one section in my tool system, I've got all of my supplies in acro bins kind of neatly organized or well i'd like to think so and every so often i'll go in and just kind of mark what i have now ideally i recommend doing this about once a month i know that's not always realistic maybe once a quarter would be good but it's always good just to know what you have in the van that way on the job you know what you have and you don't have to run out to the store get some supplies when you've had them in your van the whole time and keeping an inventory you can do it two ways analog or digital you can you know, use a clipboard to keep track of things, or you can go digital and there's a whole slew of apps on the app store that you can use to keep track of everything. You know, you can create databases for your, your materials and your tools. And actually that's what I currently use and I recommend doing it that way. All right, tip number five is to have a partition in the van separating the cab from the cargo area. Now some vans, right when you get them, they don't have a partition. Mine luckily did and it makes a big difference you know not only for your safety if you're driving and then you have to slam the brakes things don't fly forward or at least you're protected if they do 
but also from a security standpoint, uh, if somebody breaks into the cab area and you've got your partition locked, then they can't access your tools. So it's just small things like that that add another layer of protection. Tip number six, keep more expensive tools in your garage when you're not using them, not in your van. Now, I don't always follow this tip because I like to keep everything in one spot in my van and I don't wanna to have to think each morning I go out, okay, what tools do I need? What don't I need? And then I have to keep shuttling tools back and forth to the van. I like to keep everything in the van, but if you have certain tools like a table saw or a miter saw, those are definitely targets uh, for thieves and um, you're not always using them. I mean, unless you're a finished carpenter, you'll be using those more often, but for handyman, you don't need those on every job. So it's good to keep those in the van and it's just an extra precaution to keep your more expensive tools safe. And a pro tip here, usually the more expensive tools are larger, so they weigh your van down and that equates to burning up more fuel. So you save money on fuel. All right, tip number seven, don't be a target. Now everybody succumbs to road rage at one point, but every time I get behind the wheel of my van, I try to remind myself that I'm representing a company. You know, I've got my logos all around the sides of the van. So I wanna make sure that I'm not pissing anybody off to a degree, but if you drive recklessly or mindlessly, you know, if you're in a rush, something like that, then you're more prone to catching the attention of maybe another contractor and then they, I don't know, they could follow you and see where you park and who knows, you know, something could go missing. So it's always good to, when you're out and about, just, you know, be kind of submissive and not draw too much attention to yourself. You know, you wanna park in conspicuous locations. You don't wanna be all alone in a parking lot and then leave your van. You wanna kind of sidle up to other cars and also kind of be, you know, unless you're in a store, be within eyesight of your van. All right, tip number eight is to install heavier duty locks on your doors. Now I've seen ways to retrofit higher grade security locks on your doors. Uh, and if you're interested in that, I'll put a link in the description so you can check that out. This will add another layer of protection if people are in fact trying to pick your locks. All right, last tip on our list here is to have lock boxes or additional locking storage in your van that you can have a set of keys for and you can go in and lock yourself. My recommendation is to get a, a storage compartment, maybe even a safe in your van uh, that might add more weight, um, but something like that to just protect your more expensive items. In the event of a break-in, if somebody is in fact able to get inside your cargo area, then there's another layer of protection inside to make sure that your more expensive tools won't be stolen. Hey, thanks for watching until the end. I hope you got some value out of those tips and to at least have provided you with more awareness to keep security a priority when you're out and about working on jobs. If you're interested in more videos like this, consider subscribing and give us a like. It keeps me motivated and it helps my channel grow. I'd love to know what methods you use to keep your van secure. So let me know in the comments below. You also might like my last video I did on the five best apps I used when I first started my handyman business. So until next time, take care and be well.